I started playing just out here in the yard, me and my dad, and we put boards out here and had the floodlights and artificial grass, and we'd play at two o'clock in the morning sometimes. The really top players, they all have somewhere to practice in. So I told him, I was like, I want to build something. It took a lot of work, but I mean, we got somewhere to practice anytime we want now. My name is Caleb Hurt. I'm from Madison, Virginia, and I'm a professional cornhole player. At just 22 years old, Caleb is one of the top cornhole players in the game. He travels to tournaments across the country, often winning multiple divisions in the same weekend. I went to Branson, Missouri last year for the Pro Series, and first was $20,000. I didn't win, I got second, but you can do a lot with $20,000 just for playing cornhole. That's right, the game you and your friends play in a backyard, at a bar, or maybe at a tailgate, has professional level players competing for five-figure payouts. When I first started playing, the money wasn't the same as it is now. Like, you get more people once they see that payout. While payouts for the top, top tournaments are lucrative, there aren't enough of them, yet, for most players to make it their entire career. When I wake up every morning, I go to work. Most of the time when I get home at night, I usually come out here for about an hour at least. Caleb started playing with his dad about seven years ago. They entered a county fair tournament and won. That's when Caleb got serious. The way I play, I'll just try to put it every bag in the hole. If you put them all in the hole, then you're not going to lose. <laughs> the game isn't super complicated. The boards are 27 feet front to front. A bag in the hole is worth three points. A bag on the board is worth one. It's net scoring. So if you score 10 points and your opponent scores eight, you get two points for the round. The first player to 21 wins. But the skill difference between us and the professionals, it's huge. Top level games often come down to a single shot. They can play for an hour or more. It's high stress, high stakes the entire time. And they gotta nail one shot to win it all or keep themselves alive. I remember in Georgia, I was playing Cole Whitehead and he was up 19-13 on me. And I had to drag everything in order to stay in the game. And I actually made it. And I actually come back and beat him. But there's another player Caleb has to worry about. He's the junior world champion, and he is gunning for Caleb. My name is Isaac Hurt. I'm 14, and I'm a professional cornhole player. That's right. It's Caleb's little brother. I'm homeschooled, so we usually get up at 9 in the morning. Caleb, he practices pretty much every day. But me, after I do school, I'll play Call of Duty for a little bit, and then if I feel like playing um, cornhole, I'll come out here and throw four in, and I'm good to go. <laughs> Them juniors, they're no joke. They're not scared of nothing. Yeah, a lot of people underestimate me. They're like, oh, this will be easy, and then I'll end up beating them 21 to nothing, and then I'm like, it wasn't easy. <laughs> Caleb and Isaac have started playing as a team in doubles this year, and at their last major, they won it all. But in the singles competition, it's each brother for himself. The only person that I haven't beat yet in a tournament is Caleb. I don't know what he does when we play in tournaments. It's like he falls apart. I guess I get in his head or something. Brotherly competition aside, both see a world where they could be playing cornhole, professionally, full time. After I graduate, I'll probably just become a professional cornhole player. And that can be my job, hopefully. Eventually, it's going to get to where, like, you see these other pro sports. I feel like, I really do feel like that it's going to get to that point. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.